to be solved by multiplying both sides by the LCM. Well, I need to figure out the LCM and I need to factor. So I have the first one, the denominator, is x minus 1. So that's just x minus 1. The other denominator is x squared minus 1. The difference of two squares equals x minus 1, x plus 1. So the LCM is going to be x minus 1. I already have that accounted for here, but I have an x plus 1 that's unaccounted for. So this is the LCM. In this case, the LCM is actually equal to this second denominator. So I don't really have to, to do anything with that. So let's go ahead and look at what happens when I multiply by the LCM. x minus 1, x plus 1, times 2x over x minus 1. Now I'll go ahead and write this out that I, I am actually, you know, I could multiply by this, write it all out. Well, I do have to cancel out the bottom, but the LCM is actually the same. Okay, this is x minus 1, x plus 1, and I, but I know that this all cancels because these are the same, equals x plus 1 times x minus 1. Okay, let's see what happens. The x minus 1's cancel. This is going to give me, I'm going to be left with 2x times x plus 1. Here, they all cancel. So I know that since everything was canceling, I'm just going to have an x minus 5 left. But it's good to write it out so you can see exactly what's happening. x plus 1, x minus 1. Now I just need to simplify. And this is 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x plus x minus 5. On this side, I'm going to get x squared. Then the outer term is negative 1. The inner term is, uh, the outer term is negative x. x times negative 1 is negative x. The inner term is x, cancels out. Negative x plus x cancels out. The last term, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Okay, now do some more simplifying. I have 2x squared. 2x plus x is 3x minus 5 equals x squared minus 1. Subtract x squared from both sides. That's going to give me x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals 1. Subtract 1 from both sides. x squared plus 3x minus 6. Actually, that's a negative 1. So add 1 to both sides. Correction, add 1 to both sides equals 0. Okay, so one side canceled out. I ended up with this. Multiplied it out. Then simplified. So I got 2x squared plus 2x plus x is 3x minus 5 equals x squared minus 1. This gave me, if I subtracted x squared from both sides, x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals negative 1. Add 1 to both sides to get x squared plus 3x minus 4. And I'm going to go ahead and try to solve this by factoring. Since this is negative, I know I've got to have a positive and a negative. And I want the it to have factors of 4 that add up to 3x. So that's going to be 1 and 4. And it's positive 3x, so I'm going to make the 4 the larger number the positive and the 1 the negative. Checking this, x squared, right? Outer terms negative x plus 4x is going to give me 3x. 4x minus x is 3x. Last term is negative 4. Okay, using the zero product property, I'm going to get x plus 4 equals 0 and x minus 1 equals 0. Therefore, x equals negative 4, and x equals 1. Now, I need to check and see if I have any extraneous solutions. Let's start with x equals negative 1. And rewrite this down here. All right, if I let x equal 1, I can see what's going to happen already. 2x over 1 minus 1. Just looking at this first term, 
That's 2x over 0. The same thing's actually going to happen here. That is not allowed. So this is an extraneous solution. Okay? Now, let's look at x equals negative 4. You can see that if x equals negative 4, this denominator is going to be negative 5, which is fine. And if this is negative 4, this is going to be 16 minus 1, and that's 15. That's fine as well. In fact, we could substitute all of this back in just to look for negative 4 and see that it's 2 times negative 4 over negative 4 times minus 1 plus negative 4 minus 5 over negative 4 squared minus 1 equals 1. Solving this out, you will find that this gives you 1 on the left equals 1. So this negative 4 is a valid solution. So my only solution here is x equals negative 4. I'm throwing out x equals negative 1. That is not a valid solution. So because I use the LCM method to solve this, to get rid of the fractions, I ended up with a new equation. When I multiplied by the LCM, I actually created this equation, which is slightly different than the original. The fractions are gone. The result is that I ended up with a solution that is not a valid solution because x equals 1 would result in 0 in the denominator, which is undefined in math. So we can't use that as a solution here. My only solution is x equals 0. That concludes this lesson for educator.com.